How do a happy new year? <laughs> I hope you're all well and you've had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful happy new year and have some good time to chill and relax. And I'm sure a lot of you have probably gone back to work as of today. We are not fully back this week. I've got a few little bits and bobs to do in here that I want to kind of get a head start on, but we're not fully back until Monday next week. But I want to show you some of the Christmas presents that are related to the workshop. Starting off with um, is I've got a Bessie clamp, a new Bessie F clamp to go with my uh, other ones to add to the collection. Bloody love this thing. Another Bessie thing is I got a standing knife. Now I lost my standing knife uh, back in, I want to say May. And yeah, can I do this? Hold on. Stopping the camera to sort of cut myself. But yeah, it's really nice. I saw this on the Bessie website and I was like, damn, okay, I want to get that because it just looks really cool. And it's got some decent weight to it as well. So yeah, nice one, Bessie. Really like it, really, really like it. Uh, the other one I've got, I've got is, I've got a new tripod. Now look, old, new. This one is an absolute beast. It goes to the ceiling, like really, really high, probably higher than that ceiling actually. And also you can do shots underneath as well. You can actually flip it around the tripod legs, uh, flip this way. So you can do really cool angles. There's also this thing, can I do it? Ah, so, ah, oh, she's really good. Um, so really glad uh, I've got this one and this comes in attachment. I've actually got that on my um, workshop accessories. Amazon storefront, so you can go find that back there, but that is just so much better, so much better. And then, oh, I'm so glad I've got a new pair of Bose headphones. Now, my old headphones were oh, 10 years old, I wanna say. Yeah, 10 years old, so I remember getting them when I first started Warhorse, which was in 2013, can you believe? And actually, me and my best mate, Nick, swapped ours, we had the same ones. Um, I had the ones without like a Bluetooth connection. He had one with a Bluetooth connection and he was so lovely, he was like, Sam, have mine. So we swapped, but they were getting old and the Bluetooth charge part only lasted for about half an hour. But these are just, oh, they're so good. But yes, that is me done for the workshop, starting out, oh no, that's actually the bag that the uh, tripod comes in by the way. But yeah, so now I'm gonna show you us starting on the new project. Gotta start slapping that wood. So this is some white oak that we're gonna start cutting into, probably not gonna have time for today, but this week at some point uh, and the rest of it for the build is up there because simple, really simple design, but uh, some of you will remember that we did a an extending dining table build last Again, I want to say last May. <laughs> May, June time maybe. And so, same client, we are making a sideboard version to kind of match it and to tie in with not only the table that we built and designed, but also a current sideboard they also have in the very same room. So, this is what we're doing. So those, this stock here, um, it's quite thick, it's like 50 mil thick, is gonna be for the top part and then also for these legs. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that when I get around to doing it, which will probably be tomorrow. Other than that, guys, I will see you later on this week. Bye. How do folks happy Tuesday? Yeah, we're on Tuesday. So I have taken all the uh, white oak out of their packaging and had a good look at it. So we are going to be using these wide boards for the legs. I'll show you from yesterday. So this is design. The legs go here. This is a straight down. The dining table that we did actually had a taper. You can see that as a slight taper quite thin at the bottom uh, to slightly wider at the top uh, but both will have this curve to kind of match so they're keeping that match thing going on but the legs are thicker than this now to achieve this what I basically what I do is I get them all milled up and then I do a rip cut down and then I flatten them both together so like kind of sandwich them I can't do this with like one hand but you'll see basically what I mean. I then put them both together and then what you get is like a book matched kind of effect, which really helps to kind of hide the fact that it's one board just glued together rather than using one thick solid board. It'll make sense when I do it. So these four are for the legs and then these pieces, these slightly not as wide pieces are gonna be for the top, which is obviously this section here. A few of you were asking about some of the design choices uh, on my Instagram stories yesterday, but so, 
There is a bit of a difference in this design and I didn't do a new one because the client was all cool with it. This little stretcher here, or support piece, whatever you want to call it, is going to be uh, not as deep. So we're going to be going, squish it here. And this bottom one here is going to match it, so it's going to be deeper. So these two pieces here, across going here, are going to be the same depth and it'll look more cohesive. But yeah, so now I'm going to get to milling up these. But before I can do that, I need to empty up my dust collector. Hey folks, so happy Thursday for one. As you saw, I did put on my stories about what this could be as a little treat for myself and some of the answers I got back were hilarious, but I'm gonna put a few of them up now. I don't know if you'd seen that through some of the scrolls there, but I am super excited. Super excited! I haven't got myself a new tool in about, I don't know, I want to say a year probably. I've been stripping myself of wonderful goodness. <laughs> look at this out, and look at that. You can see it already, it's all red. Oh, so I've got the T-square, the 600mm Woodpecker's T-square. Um, yeah, I'll get it all out in a sec. It's got, it comes with a hanger. I mean, come on. My fat hands can't get in. Oh, I just think that's so cute, right? Anyway, back to the build. We are doing some more milling. So I have basically just ripped each of the four boards for the legs down the middle. As you can see, I just put little squiggly lines so I know they've become a pair. So little squiggles, little zigzags, they've got squiggles. Um, and this one I'll talk to you about in a sec. But essentially what you're doing is book matching them. So when these get squished together to become one thicker board, it looks like the same board because I need to you see, I need to uh, sharpen my blades. But yes, they kind of book match and it would look the same. Trust me, it will look the same. <laughs> it will look like one big thick board. This one I haven't paired up because the pith, you can see right there, it's really close to the pith, which is the center of the tree. And for my liking, a little too close. So I've taken this one out and this will be one of the back legs. I know where it's going. So I'm gonna put it in the back left leg and you'll never notice. I mean, it's pretty tight anyway. You just never will notice anyway, but that'll be that way and obviously sandwiched just like that. But 
that's what you've done today. I told you I wasn't going to be working that much this week. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I'm in here tomorrow because Katie and baby Riley is out. Bye. <laughs> I haven't surface planed the bottom of these yet. Ah! Okay. Switch around to that. What a terrible angle that is. <laughs> uh, let me move you. That better for you? Let's go. Oh. Why did I pick up the camera before taking my stuff off? So, I've planed the thickness, whatever you want to call it. This is called a thickness, sir. Some people call it a planer. Some people call it a thickness planer. It's the same thing, right? This is the top. That's all done. On Monday, when I come back, I'm going to go a little bit more in this because that's a bit too thick still. Uh, but to be fair, same with these ones before I glue them up. I really wanted, really wanted to get these all glued up for the top. By the end of this week, but clearly that didn't happen. You know, family things. Ended up doing a lot of tidying in the house today. So I'm actually done. I've only been in here for the past hour. That is all done and looking great. To be fair, it's going to be good to acclimatise everything. Now, I know people are going to be asking questions about my thicknesser bed, extension bed, whatever you want to call it, because I always do when I use it. So it's made out of MDF and it just helps it to support for the in-feed and out-feed and and reduces snipe. Now you've just seen me, I've not touched these whatsoever, but as you can see, you can barely see that line there. It's minimal. It actually looks more than what actually is in real life. There's another one there, but it's so minimal. And sometimes like this one, you barely even have one. So I do recommend making a thicknesser bed for your thicknesser, unless you have a massive ass 24 inch planer thicknesser. Whatever you want to call it. I do need to make a new one of these actually. So I know I've been saying a lot. I will make a new one, film it and put it on YouTube because this one's a bit buggered. But guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.